What I want to do in this video is show you how to create the, the roof overhang that I have here in this kind of <clears throat> magenta colored dash line. So I'm going to erase this line and I'm going to show you how I create it and we're going to draw it again. Get rid of that, get rid of that. So basically this roof overhang, it, it shows you the outline of the roof above the cut plane. So it's going to be a hidden line. So it needs to be a dashed line. Um, and I know from the drawing that the, the main roof overhang is one foot six from this, um, the outside wall. So what I could do is, um, let me go to my layer properties. If you don't already have it, um, I just made a, a new layer called Roof Overhang. And I put it on a dashed X2 line type. And if you don't have it there, you can just click it, go to Load. And just kind of look for it in the search in the, the line type list here. So I have dashed X2 here. Or that's a dash dot, but dash x2 here you go dash x2 okay um i already have that loaded already so um i don't want to reload it again but that's what you would do so anyway it's there let me hit okay so um double click on actually I don't need to double click because when i offset it it's not gonna it's not gonna bring that line type or line but it's not going to bring that layer in anyway. So, um, but we could go ahead and just double click it to make that the current layer. Um, yeah. So everything else is good. So I'm just going to offset this outside wall. Offset. That's a specify offset distance. So that's one foot six inches. I'm going to click this wall. Offset it. Click this outside wall. Offset it. I can use the fillet to join these corners. Um, I can offset this wall, one foot six. Just kind of go around here. I can fill it this to where it's just continuously goes around. Um, I'm gonna offset one foot six. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and just do all these while I'm at it. That one, I need this side. Uh, that side I don't need because I already have it. So I can just fill it to connect these corners. Press enter. Connect those. Press enter again. Connect these. Make sure that on this one I'm going to grab this this side of the line and not that side because then it, it fills it the wrong way. So I'm going to get over here. I'm going to connect this one to this one. So even though it goes through our chimney right now, that's okay for right now. So it goes through our our little water heater closet there too. Um, so Right now I offset it so it's still gonna be it's still in this wall layer here, but I want to change it to the roof or ring layer, so I'm just gonna select these lines that I've made. Boom, boom, boom. Select them all, then I'm just gonna to go to where it says floor plan, click it, look for my roof or ring layer, click it, and then it it, um, it changes the layer to the, the one that I want. So also if the dash lines aren't showing up, or if they're showing up too big or too small, you can type in LT scale. Minus set for 12, but you can kind of play around with that number and kind of get it to where it kind of shows up better. So mine's set at 12. Um, I'll show you if I, if I change it to like 1. You can kind of see it, it looks like a bunch of dots right there. So... Um, LT scale. If I put it at like 48, you can see they're big, huge, kind of 
dash line. So I have mine set for 12. So that's what I'm going to use. Looks good. Um, so that's kind of offset the main roof up here. Um, let's see. Um, that chimney is going to come up. Um, it actually comes up through this roof here. So I want to trim out the part of that line that goes through that chimney. So I can type in TR for trim. I'm going to select these two end lines, that one and that one. Press enter, and then I'm going to select this middle piece to trim that piece out. Um, on this side, this actually goes over the top. This roof goes over the top of that water heater closet, so I can leave that going all the way through it. So we're good there. And then all I need to do is draw like a little roof around this water heater closet. And then, so the offset for that is going to be offset six inches on this side and this side. And it's offset one foot on this side here. And then I'm using my fillet to join the corners, press enter, click, click. Um, this wall actually, this roof actually goes all the way back to this wall. So I'm going to extend that to here. I'm going to pick this to, that's what I want to extend. Right, so then I'm just going to change this um, the layer of these lines that I made. Click it. Click it, click it. I'm gonna go to my floor plan. I want it to be on my roof overhang layer. Um, so yeah, that this line actually goes up underneath this roof. So we could leave it like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, that and that's that's pretty much all it is. My roof overhang. So um, that's how you create that. So I'm gonna save it. And there you go.